Okay, so I did a video yesterday about Ubuntu Mate uh, and I've just been blown away by the performance and how great it works and how smooth everything is. Uh, it really is a very, very nice operating system and it might have topped Raspbian for me or Raspberry Pi OS because it just looks so good, it operates so fluidly and uh, certainly the web browser with Firefox, I mean if I go into Firefox now uh, and scroll around on this Hot UK Deals. This is moving more like a Mac. Uh, this, is, this is actually really fluid and really controllable with my just my cheap Logitech mouse keyboard uh, system. You can see I can move up and down and it's super fluid, really, really nice. If I put it on YouTube uh, and tap the space bar, go straight into playing video. If I pop it full screen, I've got to go in through a Bluetooth speaker at the moment, just to turn that down a bit. Uh, the video performance is great, really, really good. So pause it, playback, pause it, go into, uh, also out of the full screen window, uh, scroll up and down on here. I mean, I, I really think this, this feels like a much more powerful computer. Um, and I've applied the fix that I did in the last video, which enables hardware support uh, in Ubuntu Mate, uh, which is on the blog that uh, I showed in the last video. And uh, it does seem to have made a massive difference. I didn't need to change anything about hardware. And weirdly, if I go into Chromium, it's not very good. So I've installed Chromium and the performance 1080 is very stuttery and not very pleasant to use at all. But this, you can see it says three frames dropped of, well, I better put on one of my videos. So let's go One that I did recently because it's it's 1080 and it shows the movement. Oh, I better. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do more of a bit more specific than that. Uh, so yeah, this video, uh, which was amazing because it was running from my iPhone. Uh, Fortnite plays incredibly well on it. But even so, this uh, this advert that's playing. So full screen. All lovely and crisp pause straight away it pauses and I've had a lot of things with web browsers being all sort of stuttery and and really not very pleasant to use on the pie but this is great skip ads so have a look at that drop frames so zero dropped of 92 zero dropped of 274 uh, if I skip more into the gameplay It's just really smooth. Still no frames dropped. Now you'll know that if you've got a Pi 4 and you've been and you watch a lot of YouTube on it, you'll know that this this is really good performance. Uh, and and just just really fluid, really really swift. I, I am I am so impressed by this. But also as an overall operating system, everything is really nice to use. So if I just go to an ordinary web page as well. And this is on the 4 gig Pi as well. This isn't on the 8 gig Pi. I haven't tried it on that yet. Um, but uh, obviously it, it can only be as good or better. Uh, but things like this, uh, the calendar, you know, everything's, you move across it and it's just super instant. It's really been optimized well. So system settings, all of this super clear, really, really easy to understand. It's an operating system that anybody could just pick up and use. Things don't seem to be hidden in strange places or, or less accessible. Uh, the start menu, obviously you've got a universal search there, so if you're looking for something like Gparted, uh, it just comes up straight away. Uh, and oh, Put the right password in, that would help. Uh, and if I go to terminal, so you can just open loads of things up, just switch between things, you can see here uh, so this is the 64-bit version of Ubuntu 20.04, Ubuntu Mate, uh, which you can see there. Uh, 2 gigahertz, and you can see how much memory it's using of the 4 gig that I've got. Let's close that down. Uh, the software manager it comes up with uh, is this one, this uh, boutique, software boutique, which is fine. Um, it, uh, it doesn't have an awful lot of software in there. Um, but uh, 
but it is searchable and it's got icons and things which is quite nice so if you were to click on something for details you can see that it, it tells you that it's going to be compatible with ARM which is what the Pi uses but I also have installed uh, Synaptic so and that's how I found a few more apps on there uh, a, a bit more choice than than was there before but again all of this look really smooth scrolling and and sometimes this just it, whether it's my uh, trackpad and it's not as compatible with some things uh, although if I plug it into my Mac it's nice and smooth um, so it just all of this works incredibly well. It's not it's not jittery, it's not jumping about. It just feels like a much more powerful device. You can see here it's on uh, 600 megahertz at the moment, so it's, it's only using very low power. So if I go, there you go, as soon as I went into Firefox, it jumped up to two gigahertz. So it manages that really well. So Office is on here, so we've got Writer. See how quick that launches. So we've got several things open at the moment here as well. Control Center, Hot UK Deals. I paired my Bluetooth speaker with it as well. Oh, also, if I go to, uh, actually, let's minimize that. If I go to my memory stick, I really like the uh, handling of all the folders and everything. Everything's very logical. It found my NAS drive perfectly. This is a USB stick. If I right click on that, I actually found that you can open it with Firefox web browser and the video performance, this is 108060, is also really good and there's no breaking up on the sound or anything like that. Welcome to the show. So just really really good. I can't I can't believe how good it is after using so many different operating systems on the Pi I think this is now my favorite operating system and I wouldn't have thought I'd say that with 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS uh, in beta uh, it's obviously that could be a contender but I still don't think it's got the polish that this has got and uh, I did change a few things about I changed the theme um, I added this on to see my clock speed I couldn't find something decent for temperature but I know I can do stuff in terminal to find the temperature but yeah I I am I think you can tell I'm very very impressed with this so even on this look see how see how that is really fluid and then you've got this show desktop here which is nice so you can go back to your desktop and uh, you can drag things up to the top here like you can see I've got icons here but I can also do that to the bottom as well so I definitely recommend you try it. Um, don't install it in the traditional way and install uh, the Mate desktop. Use the Desktopify video to install it because it's so much more optimized for the Pi. And then with that hardware enabling fix on Firefox, which also can work for VLC as well, you've got a really, really good complete package. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.